12. So there's an issue with my recording, which is that if you saw in the last video, a sort of cut in the midst of the recording since I'm doing broadcasts and I think it might be the internet. Otherwise, we'll just continue the way we started it. So now, I still have to pick what do I want Vaughn to go with. That's a pretty... Okay, you know what? I'm doing a knight list, list play where I have Vaughn as a knight. Um... Ooh. Mm, the red battle mage is pretty cool. But I like the um the monk. I might go with this. Yeah, I might go with the monk. I'll go with the monk. I'll try the monk. There's certainly a I don't know, it, I haven't played much of this. And it's sort of passes for your characters however you like. But the problem with that is you just have it by the end of the game, just have four characters who mastered all nine all the jobs and with not much difficulty. And it seemed like you had to level them up. I'm just gonna equip my Orkia. Because that, I got that. Okay. Uh, did I get the... Did I get the... Oh yeah, I got the red tomato. Okay, hunt accepted, speed round. Okay, time to go kill a monster. I do like the hunting in this. Pretty cool. Just a classic JRPG. Actually, this very much seems like a very old Final Fantasy game with the class systems, with the... what else? With the jobs and the hunting. Just for the added benefit of being able to move in the world and fight monsters however you like. This is pretty good, actually. I like it. You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the, uh, consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed. Magello. I just hate to see the consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man. I not one that... Take offense in such uh, trifling matters. Hmm. <laughs> Move it on, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the console waiting. Right. Gates are closed after this. Pretty cool. Actually, no, it's not very cool. I'm gonna save, or at least actually I'm actually yeah I'm gonna save. Um yeah something. I'm just gonna save. Unfortunately, you guys can't see this, but I'm about to be done saving. It's very unfortunate that they just sort of cut out the video footage. There we go. I definitely like the fast forwarding. Makes a lot of things easier. I gotta admit. A little introduction to the world. Damasca Estosan. And I just got a notification. To which I need to quickly turn this off. Go, get, go kill the cacti. Go, Vaughn. So, um, this, the fact that Vaughn starts with a dagger, which is respective of another job makes, sort of the job that you can pick from pretty interesting. 
like when I when I picked the knight for Vaughn, um, I had assumed to go and buy a Vrasso and then buy a what a shield does the exact same damage as a dagger, and on top of that, it's um was faster as a dagger in terms of the action bar on the bottom. Because on the bottom you got your action bar, which is your ATB. Pretty standard of uh, the Final Fantasy series, I find. It was introduced in Final Fantasy VI. It's not, it's not a standard, but and in Final Fantasy XV, it sort of dissed the entire combat entirely and just made it into a hack and slash. But mind you, I don't mind. I really like the game. That is one of my favorite games. Get oh man, oh. Not too hard. I took a long time to find try to find the rogue tomato. Gabana lilies. Yes, Vaughn, Gabana lilies. Whatever those supposed to mean. Never that I'd see him growing out here. This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. Hmm. And I'll just keep going. I would spend time. Actually, I'll kill the wolf. I would spend time grinding or killing some monsters, but since I'm broadcasting, I really don't want to do that for the viewers. Don't you go back in? Whee! Someone's faster. Oh, I love I love Final Fantasy XII. It does a lot of things that makes it easier for a Final Fantasy um, game and for a Final Fantasy fan, fan I find. Which I find it kind of interesting. Okay, here's the thing. The first console Final Fantasy game I ever owned and played, believe it or not, was Final Fantasy XIII. I'm serious. I I had a PS2. I didn't buy Final Fantasy X or XII for that matter. And I, and I sort of explained the first video why I didn't. And but when Final PS3 came along and we were given insight on the new Final Fantasy XIII, I was on that. I wanted that. I you know, have sort of the excitement of being introduced into a series with, your, with a very first, say, next-gen game at that time. That's why I was up for that. And I, and we all, everyone knows that that's a very sort of split game. Some people like it, some people don't like it. And one of the things I found... I didn't quite understand was the fact that you that couldn't control your you couldn't control the members of your party. You sort of, they sort of did things on their own, and you sort of commanded what roles they would play at any given time and switching between them. I always found that in hindsight, I find that weird. Maybe because maybe people don't like Final Fantasy Twelve, but Final Fantasy Twelve does the exact same thing with the Gambit system. I probably shouldn't be talking about it. I don't really care that this is all hard to say. Really, once you get used to it, it's care for some size. There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. There's a bunch of experts. You let these carts through and close this gate is ordered. They may as well choke with this sand. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Yeah, one of the things about Final Fantasy XII was the ah, gambit system, which essentially gave soon. orders to your teammates hurt. and allowed them to attack according to what priority you would give them. Fine. And I just find Wait, it funny what is it? that Final Fantasy XII did that, and Final Fantasy XIII just took that to the next level. In fact, just pour it over by pretty much just saying, okay, your, your teammates will do sort of the best action of any given time, and you, the leader, are supposed to figure out what roles you want them to play and what do you want them to do. And you can also say, select, select manually what magic you want to use. 
But see, here's the thing. I never quite understood the magic system in Final Fantasy, mainly because there wasn't any difference. Really, I mean, really, what's the difference between using fire, say, thunder, apart from using it on an enemy that's weak accordingly? It's not like in Persona 5 where the spells have additional effects that can be used. We will have order. I give you your new consort, His Imperial Highness Lord Vane Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm. Your Excellency! People of Ravanasta, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire! Get him out of here, we don't want him here. But know this, I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your He's feelings. frustrated! That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King he called our king fallen! Strove to bring you peace. His is his last name Trump? Screw! Screw him! Even now. He remains among you, protecting you. Remaining as he did, you angel! The wheel of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end. Yet still its shadow looms over the I like, I like the, guy's the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred, suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Hmm. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. That's why I like him. He's actually a very good speaker. I like him. His oh, it's going back to the back. Bad graphics. It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. Gallo, your highness. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, highness. The, the people of Ravidaster join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough of highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official and nothing more. I, I meant no disrespect. Now that I think of it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No? Henceforth, I am a citizen of Rabanasta. Why don't you call me vain? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink until you call me by name. <laughs> How can he stand and bow to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. You know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? 
I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do I something. Do something. Vaughn. 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 Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word of said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabinaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Hey, Penel, hey, that fake tonight. tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation, if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing you'd buy is an airship. All hail Vaughn, sky part of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble. Hmm. Mm. An airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Magella. So this kind of goes back to my this. first point. Well, like, one of the points that I made in my first part video of this gameplay is the story of Vaughn and the political conflict, you can only understand it in the context of what happened within the first 20 minutes of the game. That Damascus was fallen, it was taken over, where am I supposed to go? Oh, shoot. It had fallen, his body died, and this is sort of the underneath motive of Vaughn as a character. He is ultimately tied to, in his identity to the country, Damascus. That's why he says he'll steal back the country. He'll steal back to give it back to Damascus. Damascus. I don't know where I'm supposed to go actually. The last time I was there. And I think also because his Voda died, he feels a little bit of resentment against the Empire, and that's why he's not, say, wooed over by the prince mighty speech about being unified. Tropical. No, I don't want, I don't want to go to start. Wait. Did I even? Oh no, I need to report report it to Tomaj. Oh yeah. Silly me. But I'm a monk now, you know what? I'm meaning something. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Yeah, I know that there's some proper classes for certain things.